Dear audience, welcome to Nusfest Addis, your daily source of news bites locally, regionally, and internationally. So today's news, I am Miron Gitacho. Stay with us. NATO nations begin giant Air Force drills in Germany. More than 250 aircraft and 10,000 personnel began a two-week military exercise on Monday involving NATO nations in Japan. And what? Host nation Germany builds as the largest deployment of aircraft in the airline's history. Planning for the training began in 2018, but it comes as fighting escalates on NATO's doorsteps in Ukraine, where Kiev's forces, backed by arms from Western allies, are mounting an offensive to reclaim territory captured by Russia since the invasion order last year by President Vladimir Putin. Officials involved in the 25-nation NATO exercise said it sends a message about alliance's solidarity. I would be pretty surprised if any world leader was not talking note of what this shows. In terms of the spirit of this alliance, which means the strength of this alliance. Amy Gutman, the U.S. ambassador to Germany, said last week that includes Mr. Putin. The exercise known as Air Defender is led by the German government and brings together the largest number of aircraft from outside Germany for a training mission since NATO was founded in 1949. The United States flew about 100 National Guard and Navy aircraft to Germany for the exercises. The 12-day event began with an air show in Monstrov in northern Germany that features cargo and refueling plants. Workhorse, aircraft that have been crucial to getting weapons and supplies to Ukraine. Pilots will conduct other missions with fighter jets that show horses of the sky at five other bases across Germany. The exercise comes a few weeks after the United States recently agreed to allow Ukrainian troops to train on and eventually obtain America-made F-16 fighter jets, not just for the current conflict against Russia, but also as a part of a long-term deterrence strategy. Air Force General Ingo Gritz of Germany, who is overseeing Air Defender said it was not directed to anyone. It was not directed at anyone and emphasized that no offense scenarios would be practiced. We are a defense alliance and so this exercise will be of a defense nature, the general said in Berlin. But the general said that when he proposed to exercise in 2018, the trigger for me back then was the capture. The addition of Crimea, the Ukrainian Pensuela, by Mr. Putin four years earlier. Since Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine last year, the general said alliance on NATO's eastern flank closest to Russia are asking for reassurance that the alliance will defend them in case of aggression by Moscow. 24 NATO nations, including Finland, the alliance's newest member, are participating in the drills, and Japan has joined as an observer. Last month, officials in Japan said that NATO was considering opening a legion office in the country and growing concerns among Western nations over China's support of Russia. Such an office would be NATO's first in Asia. On goal of Air Defender is to taste how aircraft from so many states communicate with each other, said Douglas Perry, a military aerospace expert at the International Institute for Strategic Studies, a research institute based in London. Mr. Bali said cargo and fuel fight crews will be closely watched during the exercise because of the important role they play in conflicts, including in Ukraine. But mostly, he said, the exercise are part of signaling champion, letting Mr. Putin know just what NATO is capable of launching against Russia if needed. Even, even if in the exercise were planned years ago, Mr. Burley said, I'd be very surprised, shall we say, if the alliance wasn't kind of looking at this as a part of its overall messaging strategy. Military organizers have promised the exercise will have little effect on civilians' air traffic, as many of the stories sorties will occur over the north and ballistic seas. We anticipate minimal interruption in the flow of civilian airlines. Lieutenant General Mikhail Hallo, who directs the U.S. Air National Guard, said in Berlin last week. However, a union for German air traffic control warned in May that the exercise could lead to massive disruptions. And this was our news for the day. Thank you very much for staying with us. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video.